Yes, I, I just would like you to explain to me that what you did with my uh, shower, uh, the, the the work you did, how oh. you, how you did it. Oh, okay. Yes. That's so brave. No, no, we we we'll go to the bathroom to, to explain. Yes. Well, that sounds weird. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so you you send all the pictures to me. Now, now it looks beautiful. Look, first of all, it's very white. Okay, very clean, and uh, very impressive is the shower head. She also changed this. That was my headache. And the pipe. The pipe. Okay. So before, the shower is not coming in the same stream. Oh, anyway, it's, it was it's tiny. Yes, it's bad. And it was low. Anyway, <laughs> now. It's got a beautiful there, and uh, first when we moved here, that was very very bad. Yes. What, it's, what, what, it's a second bathroom, and it seems like they just added it on. It did. It wasn't original to the house. They took a part of probably the garage. Uh -huh. This was maybe a pantry huh. or an entryway to the bedroom from the garage, and they made it. Uh -huh. Because back to back, it's with the other bed, uh, bathroom. Okay. So, um, the 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 thing is that I think we bought we paid like forty dollars something. I bought a mattress something, and uh, there because I I don't. I had a mat. Yeah, I had put a mat there. Mat. Yeah. But uh, but uh, it mildewed. Yes. Yeah, yes. It mildewed. It was horrible. It's this black and green yeah. and uh, it looks so horrible. They, yeah. We we spent like forty dollars for nothing. Yeah. You know we threw it away and I just. Uh, Every time when my feet step on that place, I feel dirty. Yeah. You know, I don't feel comfortable. So I so much want to do it. But this mm -hmm. time I was away. I was in Taiwan for two months. Too long. Yeah. When I come back. For too okay, long. A surprise, surprise, surprise. This is my Christmas gift from my lady. I would like you, I would like to know how you did it. And I want to refinish this too, like I did my. Uh -huh. uh, so I just sand it, and uh -huh. I'll make it stain it and. Okay. Seal it. Yeah, that first. Okay, this what I did was well the pictures show what mm -hmm. I had to do. So the first thing was to take all of this off. This oh. is so heavy. Uh, it took yeah, yeah. two of us, and it was really difficult because this. Ah. Oh. And these are so heavy, and it's just oh. held on. By gravity. Oh, okay, okay, okay. But this was so difficult to get out of this door. This mm -hmm. is a really awkward position mm -hmm. to the outside. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, so we got these off, and then I had to pull all of the metal parts off. And obviously, I took everything out. Now, the bottom, it's fiberglass, it's a fiberglass shower mm -hmm. pan, and it was all cracked. Okay. It's solid underneath though, so it had a solid, it has, the cement underneath is, is solid, it's not like it's a hollow mm -hmm. uh, part that would go down, otherwise I would have had to seal that as well. Mm -hmm. So it was just cracked, the fiberglass pan, but the floor is solid underneath, so that was good. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if we had wanted, if I had wanted to fix this with a professional, they would have had to take out the shower pan, mm -hmm. and that would involve a jackhammer and too much money, okay? Because it would probably affect the tile. I know this is old 90s, 80s, 90s style tile, but it's still decent tile. And it, it's, the tile is not mildewed or anything like that. But the pan was. Obviously it had living things because it kept getting on that mat. Okay, so what I had to do was it took me about a week of every day, about twice a day, mm -hmm. bleaching and using degunking special cleaners from Home Depot. Mm -hmm. Special heavy duty, like caustic cleaners, mm -hmm. industrial type cleaners. Mm -hmm. I needed to make sure that nothing was still alive. Okay. That was the first step. So it's like a bacteria or something. So not just bleach, I needed a step more. Uh, I knew it wasn't going to come. You had to kill them. Yeah. They are alive too. They have mothers. No. Single celled. Okay. Nah, it's okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Anyway, so obviously I took um most of the caulking was gone. Mm -hmm. But whatever was left, 
I took that out and any um, uh, any other grout that was down down low or damaged I took out okay mm -hmm. so cleaned all of that really good it's so important along the way a lot of spray a lot of paint from previous paint jobs I got off as well so also did that on these edges mm -hmm. I took all this off I cleaned off all of the old adhesive mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. I cleaned off what I could of the mildew and stuff um, did that all outside Meanwhile, I could work on the pan. So after bleaching it and feeling like I killed everything mm -hmm. because I'm a little bit OCD, obsessive compulsive mm -hmm. with cleanliness and projects, they have to be done right. If I'm going to do it, mm -hmm. I'm going to do it the proper way so it doesn't have to be redone, mm -hmm. especially something like this that you use every day. So first I researched before I even did anything. I researched as much as I could on YouTube for what products I would need if you even can repair something like this first. Mm -hmm. And I did find a lot of helpful information. Mm -hmm. People are um, very smart. So you can't just paint your shower. Mm -hmm. So don't think you can paint your shower or your bath bathtub. You have to do it a certain way. Mm -hmm. But I found out what that was. Mm -hmm. So I, um, after I did all of the cleaning, then I sanded it. Okay, so I sanded the fiberglass pan and I got all of everything that I could to get it a rough surface everywhere. Mm -hmm. Then what I have found was to use a primer. Okay, so I used a white primer paint, mm -hmm. but it's a specific um, epoxy based. It's mm -hmm. for epoxy based paints. Mm -hmm. So it I just put the, seals. It 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 uh, it adheres to epoxy. Mm -hmm. So I'm sorry. Even before the primer. What I did was there were cracks in the pan, mm -hmm. so I had looked up how to fix fiberglass, and it's just like you would a swimming pool mm -hmm. or a boat or even a car that with fiberglass mesh fabric mm -hmm. and an epoxy that's made for that. Now I got one that was for uh, epoxy, that's waterproof. Epoxy is kind of glue. I can show you. You want me to show it's it? It's kind you? of glue. Yeah, but this is different. Okay, it is a kind of glue, exactly. Mm -hmm. That's what it takes. Basically, it became part of the fiberglass now. Mm, okay, okay. So I put down the fiberglass fabric, which mm -hmm. has a very unique consistency, mm -hmm. and then I mix this up mm -hmm. and I put this. So under that mat is this. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. let that cure, mm -hmm. sanded that down mm -hmm. to get it rough and to get it even. Mm -hmm. And then I used a Krylon a primer, white mm -hmm. primer, mm -hmm. and I used a fine coat of that. I did two coats to get good coverage. Then I uh, did a light sanding again. They say it's not necessary, but I wanted to do it right. I made sure. And then I had found a, a spray paint. These are all spray paints because I'm in a small area. I want it to look good. The paint that I used, because I knew he wouldn't be standing on the paint. The paint was to make it look better mm. and to be water resistant. Mm. I wouldn't trust this if you were walking on that and I hadn't put the mat down. Mm. Okay, if alone, mm. it would m maybe wear down, wear away, but it's an appliance paint. I don't know if it's new, what it is, a new type of product, but for me, it was a new type of product. It's shiny, like on your stove or your refrigerator. Mm. It's got um, that ceramic finish. Mm. Okay, so I used that, and that was epoxy based as well. So everything worked together, all the products. You wouldn't want to use an acrylic paint or a water-based paint. Mm -hmm. These would just bubble up and peel off and they're gone. Mm. So after I did all that, I did several coats of that. Of course, I taped off the shower so the overspray wouldn't get anywhere. Had to wear a face mask. After the, the white paint, a couple of coats. That took me several hours in between. And then I jumped in the shower as quickly as possible because even my hair, all the hairs on my arm had turned white because they were all, everything was coated. 
You have a hair on your arms. I do. Blonde. Oh. But yes, I do. So everything was coated in this. Anyway, I let that dry overnight. Mm -hmm. And then I put down this product. Now I had researched a long time to find this. Mm -hmm. This is, I'm not sure what the, I, I believe that it's, uh, I, I don't think it's fiberglass because it's much more flexible. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's a very thick type of plastic. Mm -hmm. And it's specifically made for this. It comes in different sizes. So this was the largest one I could find for this size. They have them for bathtubs with the hole at the front, all of that. Mm -hmm. So this one, it comes with the mat and it comes with sandpaper. It comes with two tubes of adhesive that you have to use in a caulk dispenser. Mm -hmm. Okay, and a putty knife to make it all even. So then that went down and then you have to hold it and get all the bubbles out. That's oh, why it you, did you have, get a little messed up here. Okay, you, you have one layer, something. Very thick layer. Thick. Oh, oh, very, oh, wow. Of it, and it, it's a marine adhesive, so it's made for boats. Mm -hmm. And when I looked up that product by itself, mm -hmm. just that one tube is worth $30 they charge just mm -hmm. for the tube. Mm -hmm. The kit, the whole kit, not including the epoxy and the paints and stuff, mm -hmm. that was all my idea. But the kit with this mat and the adhesive, all that... That was $100 at Home Depot. I had to order it and they had to ship it to the store because mm. the store doesn't keep it in stock, but mm. they have it at their warehouses, I guess. Mm -hmm. So I ordered that around Thanksgiving. It took a few weeks to get here. Mm -hmm. um, put that down. Then we had to fill up empty water bottles like this mm -hmm. and put those on it mm -hmm. for two hours while it cured okay. to keep it down. Mm -hmm. Okay. After I was sure that that wasn't going to move around, mm -hmm. I could go back and mm -hmm. work and do all of the caulking. Mm -hmm. So then I sealed anywhere I could see a gap and of course all around. Mm -hmm. After that was dry and everything was dry, that's when I put caulking behind these, put them mm -hmm. back up, mm -hmm. and then my son helped me bring in these massive doors because you can't take these doors out. Mm. You have to lift the whole assembly okay. and the doors slide out from that track. Okay. And when you put them back in, you have to put it in that way. You slide the doors back in the track mm -hmm. and carry it back in here. Wow. Yeah. And these are glass. Mm -hmm. These are very heavy glass doors. Mm -hmm. So, and there wasn't a problem with these, especially once I cleaned it up. So I wasn't worried about... Mm -hmm. I know it's cracked and things, but this has that mesh inside, mm. a metal mesh, so it's okay. Mm. So in the end, how much time, uh, how much money have you spent? I would say all the products included about $150. $150. Some things mm -hmm. I already had. Mm -hmm. I had a caulking gun because I did the other bathroom, mm -hmm. things like that. So a lot of tools I had. Um, and that's one thing I like about doing projects because I found out I need a tool, I get it, and then I have it forever. Mm -hmm. So I'll, it's like my father did. It's mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. Then when you need to do something, you're not afraid. Um, about $150. The kit was $100. And then the paints, the epoxy, the fiberglass fabric. Mm -hmm. Um, they weren't, uh, yeah, I would say about, I think the epoxy and everything came to about 30 then the paints were about $6 each. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then the fabric was about, probably about $6. Not too expensive. All that little stuff isn't too expensive. Mm -hmm. But the time from researching, because when I haven't done something, this to me was important that it be done right because it involves water. Mm -hmm. And I needed it to be waterproof and not break because it's something used every day. So it needed to be durable mm -hmm. and it needed to be um, something that I could do with getting only little bits of things like sandpaper or stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And that I could feel confident I could do it. So the epoxy was the scariest part for me because I haven't worked with a large quantity of epoxy. You're used to using the tubes of epoxy, yes, yes. not a big mm -hmm. container. Mm, true. And actually, while I was doing the epoxy, everything was perfect. I put down the fabric, I put on the right amount, I used the red Solo cups I bought at the dollar store. Mm -hmm. 
I got it all perfect and I was about to, oh, okay, just right. And I had a little extra mixed up. Mm -hmm. And the bottom of the cup got eaten through and it started pouring out all over and it was starting to get hard and I was freaking out. So, but I was ready because I had, I needed to have the cleanup stuff as well. So I, I needed to know what I needed to clean this stuff. So it was, um, uh, denatured alcohol, but denatured alcohol, I didn't want to use. That's more like gasoline. Mm -hmm. That was scary in here with the fumes. So I used isopropyl alcohol, which worked very well. That's just rubbing alcohol that we use for cuts and for everything. So I already had that. I used that. And clean up rags. Make sure you have lots of clean up rags. And you're just ready for anything that could happen. So I probably looked at videos and researched for at least a week. Mm -hmm. Now this was back in November. Mm -hmm. Then I thought about it for a long time before I even ordered this product. Once I had decided after all my research that this would be necessary too, because my mindset was I have a month to return it. If I don't need it, I can return it and get a refund. Mm -hmm. But after I did it, I realized, yeah, because this is kind of soft, huh? Mm. On your feet, it feels good. Mm. Once I felt it compared to the, the hard floor, mm -hmm. I felt that that was a better finish mm. and you wouldn't slip. I even bought sand to mix in the epoxy, mm -hmm. so it would be anti-slip. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, I did it with a lot of care. It was good intention. How much time, again? Mm -hmm. The research was about a week. Um, watching a lot of stuff, learning a lot of stuff. And then this took me solid work um, three days. It was three days um, taking breathing breaks, mm. thinking I was choking. Yeah. <laughs> it, the epoxy wasn't even as bad. Actually, my daughter stated she can smell it because there's a heat, there's a air duct here in the floor. Mm -hmm. She could smell it in her bedroom. Mm. And she said, oh, it's almost like gas. It smells good, you know. Mm -hmm. Gasoline, sometimes it's like you like the smell of gasoline when you fill up your car. And she's an artist, so she works with these type of things all the time anyway. Um, but when that appliance spray paint, that's what the shininess is all around the edges. Mm -hmm. That is the worst chemical. It's so strong. I've never smelled anything like that. Mm -hmm. And the way it sticks to everything. Mm -hmm. I had everything taped. Thank God I, I had like plastic drop cloth I used that's easy to rip. Mm -hmm. I used painter's tape mm -hmm. and taped everything off, taped all these off. Mm -hmm. And it's a good thing I did because the overspray was everywhere. Wow. So when was it finished? This was finished um, a Hold day on. or two days, two days, I think, before you got here. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I was going to wait. I was going to wait because I was very nervous about doing it still. Mm -hmm. You know, I mm -hmm. was still like, <sighs> because of, of the perfectionism that I have for projects, I also procrastinate. I put things off. Mm -hmm. And my son does the same thing. Thank God my daughter, she'll just jump in and experiment. Mm -hmm. But my son, he does the same thing. He's writing a speech right now. He's going to put it off, put it off, because he's thinking about it, thinking about it. It's uh, at the last minute, yeah, and but it comes out good. Yeah, no, but it comes last, out good. I, I know, I know, but the last minute he says, "No, this is no good," I do it again. Something like I do that too. Yeah, you know, I do a lot of preparation, but the end, the 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 one percent when the time comes, is yeah. okay. No, this is not good enough. I have to do it all over again. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> it's terrible, isn't it? Yes. But it's it works when you write write a book, something like that, and you, you know? get a really good product. Yeah, you get a really good end result. So mm -hmm. I'm happy with it. I just wish that um, I had been able to, I probably can with a razor blade, just get that extra stuff that seeped out. But they said you wanted that to happen because you want that seal. Mm -hmm. But but anyway, I don't think you're going to grow any mildew. Mm -hmm. This can be cleaned. Mm -hmm. It won't hurt the finish. Mm -hmm. um, and we'll get a new drain cover for you. huh? I think that's the only thing left. And the handles I can change. I looked up how to do that too, but I don't know where 
to turn the water main off. For these type of handles, mm -hmm. we need to turn the main water off. Mm -hmm. And it's supposed to be somewhere in the street. Mm -hmm. And you put this big thing down and turn it off. I don't know how. Okay. So I need your help and then we can replace the, your the, handles. The, the, the handles is actually, I really would like to have a one handle. No, that's new plumbing. Oh, uh, because this is too, every time I have to adjust you have to. the, the I'm temperature. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Unless you want to rip out the wall and do, redo the plumbing. I uh, know. But the handles, changing the handles to new ones is mm. easy, but you have to turn the main off. Because right now, the water will shoot out at us. <laughs> mm -hmm. Both of them. Shoot where? Shoot onto us. Onto we, which part of your body? Onto you, because <laughs> you'll take them off, not me. Uh, okay, okay. Okay. But thanks, dear. Okay, for the wonderful, wonderful Christmas gift. Merry Christmas. Good, good. I want to film okay. this again. Okay, now Go for it. Oh, hold on. When I lifted this up, I took it out. So hang on. Oh, no, no, no. You have, you have all It's okay. All right, leave this to me. <laughs> be careful because it's so heavy. If you drop it on your toe, we'll be in the emergency room. Okay. Don't worry. I'm here. I'm the hero. I do the final work. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> final finish. Go. Okay. No, oh, I'm up. Good. Excellent. I'm yeah, it's down. Tracking. That one doesn't have any screws or anything. It's mm -hmm. just purely held on by the weight of those doors. Okay. Nice okay. things again. Yes. I, I want to film the, the button one more time. Okay. Just to be proud of my lady. Okay. It's, it didn't take strength. Only the door, taking the door off took uh -huh. strength. It took learning. And it took, wow. uh, you know, your time. It, it took, it's dirty now because it's got his hair all over. <laughs> <laughs> this shower head is really wonderful. Oh, that I put in a while ago. Yeah, this is good. Okay, thanks dear. Okay, bye bye. Yeah. Okay, impressed, impressed. <laughs> okay, when you find the lady, she may not be the best cook, but she is a handy woman. Thank you for watching. And hope after you're watching the video, you get some encouragement, inspiration, and do something by yourself. Okay, thank you.